Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'll be making five cards using the Spellbinders March 2023 card kit. This card kit is called Be Yourself and the B is B-E-E, -E, like a bumblebee. So there's lots of bumblebees in this collection. I recently did an unboxing video showing everything that's included in this card kit and if you haven't seen it I will link it at the top right corner of this video as well as in the description box below. And just a quick reminder that I will have product links to this card kit as well as any additional supplies that I use today down in the description box of this video and on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com and you can also head over to my blog to see up close pictures of all of my cards. So this collection has a lot of yellows, navy blues, there's some sky blues and pinks. The colors are perfect for spring cards. So for this first card, I used a piece of the pink solid cardstock. And the solid cardstock in the kit already comes pre-cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So I use that to mat my pattern paper. The flower pattern paper is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And that teal wood grain paper at the bottom is four and one eighth by one half inch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this ephemera on top to decorate my card. So I have the tag that says beautiful things will bloom. I have two plants at the bottom. I have a large pink heart. I also have the word lovely and I also used a butterfly from the ephemera pack and added it to the tag. Now I'm going to take some heart puffy stickers and add them to my card. I'm going to add a glue dot at the top where the hole in the tag is and I'm just going to add a piece of white twine from my stash. And then I'm going to add this entire layer to an A2 size white card base and the white card bases do come in the card kit. For my next card, I have a piece of solid green cardstock that I cut down to three inches by three quarter inches. I'm adding it to the pattern paper that has the oranges on it, and that one is cut to three by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to add that entire layer to a piece of the yellow pattern paper, and the yellow pattern paper is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to add this tree behind the fence. This fence is a chipboard sticker that came in the kit. The fence does have a sticky back, but I always like to add some glue to the stickers just to make sure they are secure to the card. I'm going to add the porcupine next to the fence. And then I'm going to add a sentiment at the top. I'm also going to bring in a banner. So the sentiment says, keep on being you. I'm going to add the banner, but part of it's going to come off of the card. And I'm just going to snip off the part that has the hole in it. So here I'm just going to flip this over and then trim off the top part of that banner. I'm going to add a heart to the banner. And then I'm going to add a smaller heart from the puffy stickers inside of the yellow heart. Next, I'm gonna add this to an A2 size card base, and then that will complete card two. For my next card, I cut some pink pattern paper with a hexagon nesting die, and I'm adding that to a piece of the yellow and white checkerboard pattern paper, and that paper is four by five and a quarter. I'm also going to add the beehive right in the center of the hexagon and I'm going to add some of the small bumblebees surrounding the beehive. So I'll add one here at the top right, I'll add one on the left, and then I'll add one towards the bottom. I'm going to add a sentiment strip that says hello honey. I'm going to make sure that it's flush with the pattern paper on the left side. And then I'm going to add this flower. This flower is a chipboard sticker. And I'm going to add it to the right side of the sentiment. I'm going to next add some of the blue sequins that come in the card kit. So I'll add five of those to my card. 
Once I finish that, I will add this layer to an A2 size white card base, and that will complete this card. For my next card, I have this purple piece of pattern paper. It has some blue polka dots on it. I thought it would be perfect for a birthday card. And I'm taking these two scalloped pieces and I'm just layering them together. And I'm gonna add the scallop pieces to the bottom of that purple pattern paper. And I did cut the purple pattern paper to three and a quarter by four and a half. The scallops will be a little bit long, but I'll just snip off the excess. And then I'll add that purple pattern paper to the blue floral paper. I'll add it right to the center. The blue floral paper is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to add this tag to the card. And for the sentiment, I'm going to bring in the puffy stickers. There are several sentiments on this sheet. And I'm going to use the happy day. They're two separate words, and I'm just going to add the word day first at the bottom. And then I'm going to add the word happy. And when I line up the word happy, I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up on the horizontal lines on that tag. The tag, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it does have some grid lines on there. So just line up the bottom of those letters with the grid lines. I'm going to add a banner, and then I'll go ahead and glue the cake down to the card. I'm going to also bring in this puffy sticker that says today is the day. And then I'm going to add some hearts to the card. I'll add a pink one, a green one, and then in the empty space next to the cake, I'll add a navy blue heart. And then I'll add this layer to an A2 size card base and that will complete this card. For my next card, I have a piece of the yellow checkerboard pattern paper, and that's cut to one and three quarter by four, and I'm adding it to the bottom of the blue polka dot pattern paper, and that one's cut to four by five and a quarter. Then I'm gonna add that to a pink piece of solid cardstock. Next, I'm gonna add all of my ephemera. So I have this sentiment that says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I'm adding it to this tag shape and just making sure that the scalloped edge of the tag underneath shows on the left side of that sentiment. I'm going to make sure that sentiment is flush with the right edge of the pattern paper. And I'm also going to be bringing in the rainbow, the hot air balloon, as well as a cloud. So I'm gonna layer up these ephemera pieces. So the hot air balloon will go a little bit on top of the rainbow, and then I'm gonna put some foam on the back side of the cloud so that it's popped up in front of the rainbow. I'm also going to add some hearts to my card. And then I have a banner sticker that says happy, and I'm just gonna make sure that the left side of the sticker it has a straight edge instead of the fishtail banner and I added it on the area of the card where the pattern papers intersect. Next I'm going to add this to a card base and then that's going to complete my card. So once again here are the five cards that I made with the Spellbinders March 2023 card kit. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card is your favorite. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and want to see more from me, be sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. Have a great day everyone and thanks for watching. Bye bye.